Today we're doing a review of a very popular fragrance called Prada Luna Rosa Black. We're gonna cover many things in this review, including the scent profile, the performance, the versatility, and of course, we're gonna take it to the streets to see what women think of this fragrance. Let's get into this review. So the scent profile on this one right here is completely different from the other Prada Luna Rosa fragrances on the market. It kinda has its own touch. It has this dark, mysterious kinda element to it, and it also comes out very mature and very elegant and very classy. Although I'm saying that, guys, anybody and any age range is able to wear this fragrance. As this fragrance opens up, you're gonna notice right away that it's a very powdery kind of scent. And as it dries down, it becomes even sweeter. As if I took three notes like iris, tonka bean, and vanilla and combined them together. Now, I'm not saying that's the official notes on the scent, but that's the kind of vibe I get off this fragrance. So if you're somebody who's not into sweet scent profiles, this one might not be for you. As far as the performance, you're going to get easily eight hours out of this fragrance. And just like the other Prada Luna Rosa fragrances that I've tested, the projection Projection is not that strong. Within the first hour or two, you're going to get easily a foot and a half of projection. Afterwards, it dies down to about six inches to a foot of projection for the next four hours. And from the six to eight hour mark, you are able to pick up nuances from this fragrance, but at the same time, the projection is not that strong. In fact, it's very dialed back. And within the eight hour mark plus, it's gonna be a completely faded skin scent. So if you're somebody looking for a strong, projecting, loud kind of fragrance, you're not gonna get it with this one. But on the opposite end, if you're somebody who loves a reserved scent, something that doesn't fill up a room, this is a fantastic option for you. So again, eight hours of performance with mild projection. As far as the versatility with this one right here, this is a very good choice, guys. You're able to wear this one for most occasions, most situations, and most seasons. I'd say it's appropriate in the fall, winter, and the spring. I would not wear this one on a summer hot day, but you're definitely able to wear this out in the evening, especially if you're going out to the club, maybe you're going on a date or a casual night out. This is a fantastic option. Option. As far as the office, this is definitely a fantastic choice. It smells elegant, refined, and rich, and very well put together. And because of the mob projection, it won't offend anybody there. I would say because it's a bit too sweet, I would not wear this one in the gym. In those kind of environments, I think fresh and clean is best. So it's a fantastic choice when it comes to versatility. Again, professional environments, this is a safe option. Dates, absolutely wear this one. When it comes to the gym or high heat summers, I would avoid this one. But as far as the other seasons, like the fall, winter, and spring, this is a fantastic choice. And of course, guys, we took it to the streets to see what women think of this fragrance. Let's play the footage. I'm a fragrance influencer. Can I get your opinion real quick on this very popular men's fragrance? Sure. Thank you so much. Wait, that smells so good. It smells so good? Yeah. I love that. <laughs> Is it average or above average for you? I think... I don't know. It's like above average. Like above it's a average? Good scent. It's a very yeah, good it scent. Like it'll stick and like stick. So very powerful, long lasting yeah. as well. From one to 10, 10 being the best men's fragrance, what would you give this one as a score? Yeah. I'd say like a nine and a half. Nine and a half, that's like <laughs> a really good score. Yeah. So the fragrance we showed you today is gonna to be Prada Luna Rosa Black. Oh. You can hold it if you'd like. Wow. Yeah, it's a very nice fragrance. I was not expecting Prada to be a Yeah, nice Prada. Oh, go for it, please. Yeah. You feel like it's unisex as well, like you'd wear this one? Yeah. Okay, it's awesome. Like Clean linen. I love that. That's a very good description. I sprayed that all over myself. You want to spray again just in case or sure. you're good? Yeah, you're more than welcome to. I don't mind. Bing, bing. There you go. That smells amazing. It smells amazing, right? Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. You have a wonderful day. Another high five right there. See you. Hey, how are you today? I'm a fragrance influencer. Can I get your opinion on this very popular men's fragrance real quick? Sure. Thank you so much. Can you I could, smell it? Yes, smell it and you can give us your honest opinion, okay? okay. It's actually pretty good. You seem pretty surprised. Like, wow, it's actually good. <laughs> well, I don't know what a random stranger is going to hand me. That's very true. So, is it average or above average for you? Men's fragrance. Men's fragrance. If you want to smell it again, you're more than welcome to. Um, I don't know. I mean, I guess. No, it's, it smells like nice. It smells really nice. Yeah. From one to 10, 10 being the best men's fragrance, what would you give this one as a score? I'm not really around a lot. <laughs> I know, it's very tough, yeah, but just like in a hypothetical. Uh, a nine, that's a very good number. Appreciate that. It's gonna be Prada Luna Rosa Black. Epic. Awesome, well, thank you so much. Have a good day. You too. Yeah. Hey, how are you today? I'm a fragrance influencer. Can I get your opinion on this very popular men's fragrance real quick? Sure. Thank you so much. You can take that and smell it. You could be completely honest with us, okay? Great. Smells great. Yeah. Average or above average? Better than Savage. Better than Savage. <laughs> that's a good scale right there. From one to 10, 10 being the best men's fragrance, what would you give this one as a score? Uh, seven. Seven. Okay, what would you give Savage as a score then? Four. 
A four? Okay, awesome. Well, thank you so much. Have a good day. Yeah. I'm a fragrance influencer. Can I get your opinion on this very popular men's fragrance real quick? Sure. Thank you so much. You can take it in small if you'd like. There you go. So the first question is, is the average or above average for you? I, I, it's pretty good. It's pretty yeah, good? It's pretty above good. Pretty above good. average? You say it's pretty average. You're going to say that? My, me personally. I okay. Well. So from one to 10, 10 being the best men's fragrance, what would you give it as a score? Maybe like a seven. Like seven. it's good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I would agree. You would say seven. like a seven? Yeah. So it's good, not offensive for you, but you've smelled better things before. I yeah. think, yeah. If you like like a sweeter thing. It's sweeter to you. Like, yeah. Okay, do you prefer fresh and clean? Probably, I would yeah. say. You would say that? Okay, well, thank you so much. Have a good thank day. You. Have a good day. You too. I'm a fragrance influencer. Can I get your opinion on this very popular men's fragrance real quick? Sure. sure. Thank you so much. You can take the strip, <laughs> smell it, pass it to each other. Thank you. I love the shades, by the way. Oh, All three of you have really good glasses. You can be completely honest with us, okay? So the first question is this, do you find it to be average or above average? If you want to smell it again, you're more than welcome okay, to. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's okay, no worries. Fragrance, right? It's a men's fragrance, okay, correct, okay. yeah. Okay. I'm thinking man here. I would say above average, I enjoy it. You enjoy it above average? I think for me, I would say average. Okay, that's fair. I would also say average. You would say average? Okay, yeah. so I'm gonna ask you first. From one to 10, 10 being the best men's fragrance, what would you give this one as a score? Mm. I would say six and a half. Six and a half, and it's above average for you. Well, average is five. <laughs> fair enough, okay. What about you? What would you give it as a score from one to 10? I would say maybe five. Five, okay. I was also gonna say five. Okay, so five is average for you. Yeah. Okay, well, awesome. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Thank you. Yeah, you too. Oh yes, the fragrance is supposed to be, by the way, Prada, Luna, Rosa, Black. Thank you so much, have a good day. You too, bye bye. I'm so sorry to interrupt. I'm a fragrance influencer. Can I get your opinion on this popular men's fragrance real quick? Thank you. It's okay? Is it like average for you or above average? Average, average? okay. If from one to 10, 10 being the best men's fragrance, what would you give this one as a score? You can be completely honest here. A six, so average for you will be a six. Okay, so the fragrance we showed you today is gonna to be Prada Luna Rosa Black. Is there a fragrance you prefer more on men that you know of top? Um, I like Mason Margiela. Mason Margiela, do you know, like, is it Jazz Club by the, Jazz. Jazz Club, you like that one more? It's funny, last week I was doing another like video like this and somebody said the same exact thing. Well, thank you so much, have a good day. So this one right here is a certified lady killer, guys. 9.59, and the other scores are around that six to seven range, which is pretty good. Now guys, I will say not a lot of girls like sweet fragrances, so you have to be aware of that. A lot of other girls simply like fresh and clean. So it's a pretty divisive scent for some. It's not gonna be offensive, like some girls are going to like it and think it smells nice, but again, some girls simply prefer fresh and clean over this kind of scent profile. But I also don't believe you're going to get showered with compliments unless people come close to you because of the projection. Guys, again, this projects about six inches to a foot. So unless somebody is in your scent bubble area, they're not going to pick up the scent and potentially compliment you on it but when they do come close the scent profile is very inviting very appealing and women will actually like this one so again guys this is a certified lady killer some women will really love the scent on you some other ones will like it they're gonna think it's average and okay but that's good because again it's not offensive to them right a good reaction is better than a negative one at the same time guys i don't believe it's gonna get you a ton of compliments due to the fact that it doesn't project that much it's only when people come close to you that they're gonna notice this kind of fragrance so what's my my final verdict on Prada Luna Rosa Black. Let's put the bottle down and get serious. So truly speaking, I am very impressed by the Prada Luna Rosa line. Ocean, I really enjoyed. Carbon, I really enjoyed. And now we have Prada Luna Rosa Black. And I really enjoyed this one as well. It's like they're covering every single one of their bases correctly. You want that soap bar lemon finish, you go with the ocean. You want that Dior Sauvage kind of vibe, that signature scent that's dark, mysterious, and yet fresh, like a shower gel kind of vibe, you got carbon. But if you want that elegant, powdery, and sweet kind of fragrance that has a little bit of a classy touch to it, then you have Prada Luna Rosa Black. I think 
they're doing a fantastic job with this line. Every single flanker smells different from each other. In fact, if you owned all three that I just mentioned right now, you're going to still have a great collection because you could use them for different situations. It's a fragrance I really enjoy because it has that dark element to it, that mysterious element to it. It's sweet, it's powdery, it's elegant, it's classy. It's one of those fragrances that I would reach for when I'm wearing a suit and tie, a tuxedo, a nice blazer. In fact, when I did those ladies' reactions, I was actually wearing that fragrance and I really enjoyed the way it smelled. It's one of those fragrances where if you enjoy something like Armani Co. Parfum, this comes off like an extremely darker version of that fragrance. I'm not saying they smell like clones or close to each other, but I will say they're in that same genre of like that dark, mysterious, sweet, elegant, classy kind of vibe. So if you're into something like Armani Co. Parfum, I think you might really enjoy this one. So overall, guys, I really do enjoy the fragrance. I think the scent profile is fantastic. I think the performance is really good for this kind of scent profile. I think the versatility is really good. You could dress this one up. You could dress it down office friendly. You could also wear this one for many situations, many occasions. The only time I wouldn't worry is the high heat summers or the gym, but otherwise I think this is a fantastic choice. And the women's reactions is a plus on this one. Some girls really like this fragrance. Other ones liked it, they found it to be average, but that's okay guys. It's just a matter of preference, but guess what? None of them were offended by this fragrance and a lot of them liked it. So to me, that's a thumbs up. So overall, I think this is a fantastic fragrance and one of my favorites that I've tried so far from the Luna Rosa line. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like, Leave a comment below what video you want to see next. Make sure to subscribe. And if you want to follow me on social media, I'll leave it right there for you guys. Have a good day.